throw away all the peanut butter. So peanuts, when they're stored, they release a gas, and that gas is so carcinogenic. So those peanuts are then crushed and put into peanut butter. And there are so many oils in there. There are so many acids in there that are all carcinogenic. You're basically eating junk to your body. You are hurting your body. You're reducing your health. Notice how she makes very vague comments. She claims that peanuts release carcinogenic gases, but doesn't actually tell you what those gases are. She also says that peanut butter contains oils and acids that are carcinogenic, but again, doesn't mention which acids or oils. And then she finishes by saying that you're hurting your body by consuming peanut butter, which again is super vague. But since she talked a lot about carcinogens, let's start with the research on peanut butter and actual cancer risk. This meta-analysis of cohort studies did not identify a significant increase in the risk of total cancer or lung, esophageal, stomach, or pancreatic cancer individually. So peanut butter appears to be fairly neutral when it comes to cancer risk, despite her claiming that it's loaded with these carcinogens. And if we look at other health outcomes like cardiovascular diseases, we see similar results. No clear impact. But we do have some research suggesting that higher peanut butter consumption is actually associated with an 11% lower risk of all-cause mortality, which is the total risk of dying during the included studies. So at worst, peanut butter appears to be fairly neutral, and at best, it's beneficial. Don't fall for this type of fear-mongering.